Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Des, if you're new here. Hi, I'm Des. I make a plethora of different kinds of videos, um, but lately I've just not been making videos. Well, today I came up with this idea of doing the albums that I like, pick my makeup. The albums from 2020 that I like, pick my makeup. And it's gonna be like a small series and every new album that comes out that I like, I'm gonna take the album artwork and I'm gonna do some makeup inspired by it. So I know a lot of people do like my favorite album picks my makeup type of thing, but I'm, I'm doing a little twist on that, but not really, so. First one that I'm starting with um, is an album that came out earlier this year and I absolutely loved. I still listen to it on repeat. Like this is the album that is like, this is the album of 2020, I think. And it's Monomania by The Word Alive. As you guys can see, it's like super pink, super black, and I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be a fun um, makeup. If you guys are interested and wanna see how I recreate that onto my face, go ahead and keep on watching. Also, if there's diff like random noise, I have children and instruments that are easily accessible. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and if you like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by removing the makeup that I have on right now, and yeah, I'll see you guys after that. All right, so we've taken off some of the things from our face. Um, I didn't really take off like the full face makeup just because, you know, um, I'm just not feeling like we should be here for 37 years. So I'm just gonna kind of touch it up a little bit. Use this Wet n Wild concealer to kind of touch up this area. Right here. I hate how this concealer smells, but I feel like I have like a really bad allergic reaction to the e.l.f. concealer, so we had to change it. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit on as like primer um, because we don't have any eye primer and we need something. And then um, I'll probably go back in and fix the base a little bit more after I do the eyes because we're here to focus on eyes guys, right? Eyes guys. Um, so, if you guys listen to Monomania, I think it's a really good album. Um, I don't know what to talk about, can you guys tell? Um, yeah, if, it's like probably one of the best albums that has come out this year, so I'm like super into it. I love the sound that they went with. Um, if you haven't listened to it, it's by the word alive. It's gorgeous and you guys should listen to it. I got these new Aveda brushes because we went back to school and we finally got our kits, like the whole shebang, well most of it. Um, and they give us these makeup brushes and I want to use them. Um, they're brand new and they're like probably the best brushes that I've ever owned. So I'm excited about that. They're so nice. Look at this. Look at it. Anyway, I went back to school and it made me realize just how bad my social anxiety is and how much more outgoing I am on the internet um, and how that's an, like that's an issue because I don't want people to think I'm stuck up but I have really bad anxiety um, so there's that I zoomed you guys in can you guys tell I zoomed you guys in I wish that my online persona was like my real life persona because um, it would make these social situations a lot more fun. You can see everything now, can't you? Anyway, I'm gonna take this Aveda, I think it's a number six brush. Yes, it is a number six brush. It looks like a nice little blending brush. And I was gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette, volume two palette, but I feel like it just gives me allergies. So I, I'm not, I wanna breathe today. So, um, just like as a transition color, I'm gonna go into my Smashbox Mac Exposure Palette and I'm gonna take like a nice little, I don't know, like a, this palette has seen some things. 
probably gonna go into like this one. Don't blow on your palettes, children. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and use that as like a nice little transition shade. And I'm just gonna kind of put it in the crease. I feel like this brush just blends so effortlessly and I don't, I don't know. I used to think like the Anastasia like brushes that came with the palettes were good. Cause they are good for like palette brushes, but like, I, these, I need to buy more. I need to buy all the Veda brushes. So we're gonna use the Controversy, the Mini Controversy by Jeffree Star and then the Ultimate Edit by NYX because this one has like the really nice pink color and then this one has like the really nice purple color and light pink that I think that I'm gonna want to add in there. And then for a little bit more depth, I'm gonna dip back into my matte, Smashbox Matte Exposure Palette for like the black. And I'm just gonna look at the album artwork again just to make sure that that is exactly what I wanna do. So instead of like white, I'm definitely gonna use the light pink color in the mini controversy because we're different. Um, anyway, so let's just go ahead and start doing this. I think I'm gonna go right in with just the pink. So I'm gonna take this color, I'm gonna go into the pink with the same Aveda number six brush because we love her and I'm just gonna put that right into like where the crease area is and just blend it out and we'll see where we go from there I hate like the shape of my face because this bone makes this area look like it's not blended in correctly so I'm sick of seeing my face <laughs> name the quote and then like I said I'm just bringing this in like really close to where like over here I forgot the word my brain's not working today but we're gonna bring it in pretty far. And while this palette does have like a nice purple color, I do like the mini controversy purple better and it's the color controversy. This is all messed up because my daughter decided to eat it, but I'm gonna um, take the purple shade. And I'm gonna kind of blend it into the pink. Um, I might head and just blend that into the pink just to add a little bit more depth. And then I'm gonna go back into the pink shade from the next palette and just kind of blend that in a little bit more with like the purple so it's not so stark. I think I really like this album because it came out at such a pivotal time in my life. It was right when my mom passed away and it was weird because a lot of the songs like dealt with like hard things and like death and all of that and it kind of delved deep into you know like I can't say for sure what Telly was thinking when he wrote those songs but you know like you can tell they're diving into like a deeper um, content and stuff going on in life rather than just like I don't know it's like a really heavy album but it's it helps you kind of cope with things I just really found solace when that album came out 
All right, we're good with that for now. And then I'm gonna go into back into the mini controversy palette and use Exposed. So it's this color right here. And I'm gonna go in with like a shader brush. I'm gonna take my concealer. Just take a little bit. And just kind of carve out a little bit of like a cut crease, but nothing too extreme. I kind of just want that lighter shade to go right here. All right, I'm gonna clean this brush off and I'm gonna go into the exposed shade with the same brush. All right, and then taking like a little bit of a bigger flat shader brush, I'm gonna take the Aveda number two and I'm gonna go in with the purple shade from Controver Mini Controversy, which is just Controversy. Um, I'm blend that in over here on the lid. And then I'm gonna go back with my number six blendy brush. Yes, I said blendy. And I'm gonna take the pink again. And the next, just kind of blend that all together. what we got going. I'm gonna actually not put any black on the top part of my eye and I'm gonna use the black that I have here on like the lower lash line to kind of smoke that out but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit I'm gonna zoom you guys out a little just a tad. Is that better? Probably not. Um, so I'm gonna do like my base. I'm gonna fix that up a little bit and then I'll be right back. So I'll see you guys in like two seconds. Right. So now that my base is kind of fixed and um, still not looking great, but you know, we'll, we'll live. Um, I'm gonna actually do my top liner and then we'll smoke out the bottom lash line, add some lashes, and then we're gonna do something fun. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Uh, H2O proof eyeliner pen and I'm just gonna try to do a winged liner. Wish me luck. Now that that is kind of done, I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Kind of messed that up. It's okay. We can fix it. The matte exposure palette, and I'm gonna dip into the black color, and I'm just gonna put that into the lower lash line. I'm just gonna make a nice little smoky eye. I think I'm gonna take this nice little Aveda number two brush. I'm gonna just dive right into the black.
We're looking a little crazy right now, and that is okay. All right, so now that that's kind of blended out, I'm gonna take my mascara and I'm gonna do a nice little coat of mascara and then we're gonna pop on some lashes. I'm just using the Ardell Demi Wispies because that's what I have and I don't really do much with eyelashes ever. This is new. So I got those on as best as I could. Practice makes perfect, right? Um, I'm just gonna go over it again with like one more coat of mascara to blend. I hear that's good if you do that. This makes me look like I'm insane. I'm gonna take my NYX liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna make the monomania little smiley faces and kind of make them look like faux freckles. So, you know, we'll see how this works because I could just fuck this all up. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take some of that pink and I'm gonna use that as like a nice little blush. So, making sure we only dip into the pink. Since we have so much else going on on top of the face, I figured that a nice nude lip would be nice. So I'm gonna go in with either, uh, we're gonna do Honey Boom by Morphe. I'm gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Matte in Never Nude. And I'm almost done, don't worry. I'm gonna come back with the finished look. So let's do a nice little montage, shall we? That's when I come back and I'm done. All right.